Hello and welcome. My name is Tony and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program. Welcome to an hour of chair yoga. Making sure you have a chair that is comfortable and above all else stable. And we're going to need a couple of other things today. And because this is a video, you can just pause it and gather whatever it is that you need. So first of all, I have a yoga strap here. Now I'm not expecting you to have a yoga strap, a belt, a tie, or even a tea towel, something like that can be really useful. We're going to need it to be at the length of around about outer shoulder distance. So that's one of the things. And another thing, this is for later on down on the floor, I have a yoga block. Now, I'm not expecting you to have a yoga block, but if you have a book, wrap it in a soft towel um, or a tea towel, and um, we'll be coming back to that later. So if you need to gather those things, those are the only things that you need. And so pause this, and maybe I'll see you in a moment. So with, I'm just gonna wrap up this um, yoga strap and put it off to one side. So we'll be spending the first part of the class in the chair and we're gonna be coming down to the earth. Now, as always, if the earth feels a little bit too far away and you don't wanna get up from that, then make sure that you're on something like a bed or a recline chair or a sofa um, when we come to lying down somewhere that is wide enough for you, firm enough for you, and that is a little more comfortable than the floor to come up. If you're good on the floor, fantastic, then um, that's nice and easy. So we'll come to a comfortable seat. It's gonna look different for each and every one of us, so don't expect anything to look the same as in my body as in your body. We've all got unique bodies, we've all got different things going on. And yoga is about listening to my cues and deciding for yourself what suits you and what doesn't. If you're in any way torn between, ah, oh, should I do it or should I not, consider whether you're working with your body or you're working against it. So what we're trying to do is find a way to move and connect to our body and listen to what it has to say. So never forcing, never straining anything. We're gonna be establishing a breath, and that breath will take us through the whole practice. And when the breath gets elevated or it gets agitated or you feel yourself holding your breath, then that's a good indication that maybe you're doing a little bit too much and maybe you wanna bring it back, rest for a breath or so, and then meet the class where you're feel, when you're feeling a little more um, in alignment with that breath. So coming to a comfortable seat, feet at a good distance for you, whatever that means. If you like the support of the back of your chair, take it. Otherwise, come away from the back of your chair. Then we start to, just by being here, start to strengthen and stabilize through the core. Shoulders are more or less over the hips here. So for some of us, that may mean leaning back a little bit. For some of us, that may mean leaning forward. We'll root down through our feet. Feel free to pick up those toes and spread them nice and wide, even pushing down about 5% into both left and right feet, evening that up. Usually we have a preference to one foot or the other, or we tend to lean to the inside or outside edges of the feet, trying to even that up as well. And then we drift those toes down nice and softly. Push down into the feet evenly, left and right, just building a little bit of pressure up to about 10%. You may feel this ripple up through your legs. You may even feel it ripple up through the lower belly. Some of you may even notice the crown of your head lengthening. And then on an exhale, let that pressure go and relax the legs as best as you can. Feel the support underneath you, your feet, and then we'll drift our awareness up through our legs to where our seat meets the chair. Same thing here. 
We've got two sitting bones underneath our pelvis. So if you wiggle from side to side, you may even notice those depending on what kind of chair you're on. We even those sitting bones up. So left to right as best as you're able. This is where shoulders sitting over the hips really helps us be up on top of that, those sitting bones. If we're sitting more forward, then we're gonna feel a little bit more pressure underneath our thighs. And if we're sitting back, we're gonna be sitting onto the back of the pelvis a little. So we wanna have that pelvis in a neutral place or as neutral as it feels to us. Same thing here, we're gonna take a big breath in. On an exhale, dump the upper body weight into the chair like a and as that happens, relax and release around the hips, the pelvic floor. Mm -hmm. So now we have this sense of grounding, that earth underneath us. From there, lifting up from the pelvic floor, which is basically a hammock of muscles between the pubic bone and the sitting bone. Drift those together and up. And as we do that, we lift through the center line of the body as if someone were just plucking up through the center of our body, through the crown of the head to the ceiling, this length. So we get this spaciousness through the torso. Roll those shoulders back and down a couple of times. Maybe it's the first time today that you've done it. Let those shoulders settle down away from your ears. And again, shoulders over hips head more or less over your heart, over your hips. So for a lot of us, that means drawing the head back in space. Keep the shape, hands resting wherever they're comfortable on the arms of the chair if you have them. Take a big breath in. And then soften and adjust so it feels sustainable for you. And take a few breaths to do that. So there's no wrong way to sit. We've had a mindful kind of movement through the body to align ourselves. And now we get to listen to our body and figure out, ah, oh, what does working with my body feel like? Maybe sitting up really, really tall, it feels like I'm straining a little. So relax. If you need to switch or adjust anything, please do. And this is the that dance between the cues that I'm giving you and what feels right for you. Listen to me for sure, but those cues are not for everybody. Every cue is not going to be for you. So you may listen to things or try things and be like, nah, my body doesn't like that. So here we are in our, what we've chosen to be a mindful seat. If there's any tension and tightness in your body that you can relax just through taking a few breaths or again small increments of um, shifting then please go ahead and then we're going to do a little check-in this gives us a little bit of information about how we're doing today and that informs our practice going forward so a great way to do this check-in is to close your eyes or soften your gaze or just lower your gaze this gives us an internal focus. And then let the question bubble up inside of you. How am I doing today? And just notice what is there without judging it, without needing to change it. How am I doing today? It may be surprising. It may be that nothing comes up at all. Just witnessing. And then ask the question, what's on my mind today? Is there anything particular on my mind? And maybe a whole bunch of things come, maybe one in particular, maybe nothing. Everything is fine. Expand your awareness into your emotions and feelings and notice, are there emotions present here today? What am I feeling? Maybe you can label them, maybe you can't. Isn't, um, it really doesn't matter. We're just learning to observe and notice what's going on with us. Expand your awareness to your entire body, from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet and fingertips. And then notice, how's my body doing today? 
You might note his energy levels. Again, with no story attached, we don't need the story. We don't need to fix it. Are there any tightnesses, discomforts in my body? Does any tension do your best to relax it, to ease that in your own way? If there's a tender part or a place in your body you need to take extra care of today, please keep that in your awareness as we move through our practice. And then starting to notice the breath. Starting to just notice the rhythm of breath coming in and out. If it feels comfortable for you, starting to notice the inhale and the exhale. And if it's coming in through your nose, then keep it there in and out through the nose. If that's not comfortable for you today, breathe in your easy way. There's no wrong way to breathe. And we start to deepen the inhale and lengthen the exhale. Keep away from forcing or straining. The breath needs to feel natural. And like the inhale flows into the exhale and the exhale glides into the next inhale. So we start with this deeper breath in and out and then we smooth it, steadying the breath. And it doesn't matter if the breath feels jumpy in some areas, we do our best. We're never looking for perfect. Just observing and noticing, huh, my breath feels really easy in this place and it's more challenging in that place. We don't need a story why, we're just paying attention and doing our best to steady and smooth. Notice your new rhythm of breath. It may have changed very little but we've got this mindful breath coming in and out now. And then with this breath, this new breath, let go of any forcing, any straining, even if it means the breath gets smaller and shorter, but we keep up that gentle smoothness to it. And if it feels like you're not getting enough breath, then you're forcing too much. So come back to a natural, easy breath and you can stay there, especially if this is one of your first times really paying attention to the breath. It takes time, it takes practice. That's why we say yoga is a practice, it's not a perfect. It is, my teacher taught me that yoga is 1% theory and 99% practice, practice, practice. And it's different every time we turn up and we do it. And that is the wonderful thing is that we're new every time we come to our mat. So we've got this more mindful breath and this more mindful seat. You might even notice how the body and the breath move together, this expansion of the inhale, softening of the exhale. Rooting down to rise once more and those shoulders settle down broadening across the collarbone. So we have this spaciousness in the torso, connected to that breath. I'm gonna take those arms down next to you, turn the palms out, doesn't matter what angle. Let's move from the elbows with that breath. The inhale, we take the fingertips up towards the ceiling, bending at the elbows, exhaling, turning the palms down. And it does not matter if the arms are in front of you or to the side, just your easy way. Our bones are all put together differently. It's going to feel different for each of us. Don't worry if one side is very different from another. Great place to stay or start to move from the shoulders. Now the arms can stay really nice and low. Imagine as if you're moving through water. Option is the hands can come a little higher or maybe even come up to reach above you. But allow this to be an easy movement and again, blended with the breath. Your breath length, not mine. You don't need to match me. Inhale, we're lengthening. Exhale, we're drawing down wherever you've chosen to be. 
Great place to be, right here. Option to stay, option. Next time those fingertips lift, we'll keep the right, and then take the left down as we come over to the left. Inhale up through center, and over to the other side. Now as you do this, it's not a very big movement. And those hands do not have to be overhead. Keep the breath in your awareness. Keep the sitting bones anchored down. One or two more. And when you feel ready, when the hands come up overhead, I'm gonna take them all the way down, dangling those arms down. Let's get those shoulders some really mindful rolls. It's not the biggest range of motion we're looking for, so start small. And again, closed eyes, lowered gaze or soft gaze if you feel stable enough. And go inside, notice the breath. Blend that steady breath with the steady movement. And notice how you experience this in your body. And then when you're ready, we'll pause and take that round in the opposite direction. center. Hands come together in front of you. Palms, soft fists, or interlace your hands. Elbows draw into the rib cage, and then figure of eight through the wrist. The more those elbows are drawn in towards the ribs, the more those wrists have to work. You can start to allow a little bit more space as those figure of eights get a little bigger. Our shoulders start to get involved. Shoulders weaving forward and back, and then the option is to take those figure of eights a little bigger, get a little rotation through the spine. You can even take your gaze side to side if you want. But blend it with the breath. I know the tendency is here to try and quicken it up. Anchor down through the sitting bones all the way down through the feet. So the only thing that is moving is the upper body. Let's bring those shoulders back through center and then draw the elbows in. And we'll pause. Take those figure of eights round in the opposite direction, smooth and steady. And then the option is to allow those figure of eights to get a little bigger. Steady and smooth breath, steady and smooth movement. The option is to start to allow those shoulders to come with you, maybe the gaze. Sitting bones are anchored, feet are anchored. Nicely done. And then we'll come all the way back, the shoulders squaring, elbows drawn in, we're back to just the wrists. And then we'll release, wiggle those fingers, spread them really wide, and then curl them in like you're holding or curling up a piece of paper into the tightest ball you can. One more time, spreading those fingers and thumbs wide, and then curling it and getting into all the joints of the hands. And then we'll give those a little bit of a shake. Rooting to rise, anchor the breath. And then from here, whatever it is that you've chosen as your yoga strap, we're gonna take that over the top of our legs nice and flat. Rooting to rise here and anchor into the breath. We're gonna take those hands as if we're on a bicycle, knuckles towards um, the front here, towards the ceiling. And then that needs to be at least shoulder distance apart. Roll the shoulders back and down so we're getting this long spine. Anchor back into the breath and your awareness. And on the inhale, keeping the spine neutral, meaning that um, we're not arching or rounding the back, we're really trying to keep it um, lengthening up towards the ceiling. On an inhale, we're going to take those arms up any height, exhale and then down. Nice and gently. 
Inhaling and exhaling. Now, however wide those hands are, if you're bringing them overhead, the wider they are, the easier that is on the shoulders. The narrower they are, the tighter. So if you're, you have them really um, tight, but your shoulders are way up by your ears, consider just lengthening along the strap and then you've got a little bit more space. You'll find a sweet spot that feels really good to you. If you want to add a little bit, you can draw the hands away from each other so it gets nice and taut in there, adding as much pressure as feels good in your body. Now notice if the arms are coming above the head, if you're arching the back, and I'm over exaggerating here, we want to keep those front ribs drawn in so the movement is coming from the shoulders and not through the spine. Let's take another three, you can always rest. Blend with the breath, your breath length. Very little stillness here, so we're not hanging out at the top of the breath or hanging out at the bottom of the breath. One more, if you're not already resting. Coming down, releasing, and rolling one shoulder and then another forward and then one shoulder and another back. Nicely done. Now, if you feel like that's enough in the shoulders, please rest. You can redo what we've just done, or we'll go from side to side. So again, taking the strap, knuckles to the sky, and on an inhale, we're taking those arms up. Knit those front ribs in, and we're lengthening up through the crown of the head and through the hands. And again, you can bend the elbows. They do not have to be straight. That feels more comfortable in your arms. On an exhale, let's take the right arm over and bending the left elbow. Now this may be in front of your face, may come to the top of your head, and maybe behind you. If it's behind you, make sure those ribs, are, front ribs are drawn in. Inhaling up and over to the other side. And if you want, you can lengthen the hands away from each other. And the add-on, of course, is drawing the hands um, more firmly away from each other. So you're putting a little bit more pressure in. So we're stabilizing and strengthening here. Let's take one more either side. Keep that breath anchored in your awareness. Front ribs knitted in. When we come up, we're going to take those hands all the way down. Once again, releasing. Release the fingers, release the shoulders. Nicely done. I'm going to take that strap over the right shoulder and make sure you've got a whole tail coming down and take that tail over to the left side. So it's crossing over the back of the body. It's going to make things a little easier. Staying with the shoulder joints here, I'm going to take that right arm out and spin the thumb to the ceiling. Bend the elbow and take hold of the strap. I'm going to take that left arm, thumb to the floor, bend the elbow, and then we get a hold of the strap behind us. From here, elbows draw away from each other. The further the hands are down the strap, the easier this is going to be in the shoulders. You can walk those fingertips towards each other down the strap, and that's going to get a little more challenging. Again, front ribs knitted in, we're rooting to rise. I'm going to stay here for three breaths, drawing those elbows away from each other, getting this um, dynamic tension moving across the body. Notice the way you're feeling it in the shoulders. If your shoulders are getting um, tight or there's tension building or your fingertips are getting numb, or tingly, please release. That means that you're trapping a nerve way up there in the shoulders. Keep the breath going for one more breath. And then when you're ready, we'll release. Give those arms a little bit of a shake and then we'll take the strap over to the left shoulder and that long tail is coming over to the right hip. Anchor the breath. I'm gonna take that left arm up, thumb to the ceiling, bend the elbow, take hold of the strap. 
Right arm, thumb to the floor, bend the elbow behind you, and we're taking the tail. It may feel very different here. You may have um, a little bit more challenge, or it may feel a little easier. Walk those fingers as far away or as close to each other as feel good in the shoulders, and then we're drawing the elbows away from each other, maybe even back behind you a little. Drawing those front ribs in. We do like to flare them out. And then notice how this feels. Breathing in that steady rhythm. Let's take three breaths here. If there's any tightness, then see if you can soften it. If there's any tingling, numbness in the fingers, you're releasing or spreading those hands a little further away down the strap. See if that eases things or coming out completely. Let's take one more breath. And then we separate those hands and give them a little wiggle here. From here, we're gonna set that strap over to one side and we'll need that when we come down to the earth. From here, we're gonna root down to rise, coming down the spine now. So on the inhale, we're gonna draw the hands back towards the pelvis and now we flare those front ribs forward to the, as the shoulder blades kiss behind the heart. On the exhale, push the back of the ribs in towards the chair as we take those fingertips towards the knees, scooping out the belly. On the inhale, we're arching the back here. Option to lift the forehead, lengthen the back of the neck. On the exhale, tuck the chin and draw it down and in. Inhaling and exhaling. You can take this all the way down into your feet if you like. On the inhale, imagine dragging the heels back towards the chair legs. Exhale, push into the feet. You get a, um, a little more scoop of the lower belly there. Inhaling and exhaling. If you are using the feet, see if you're favoring one foot over the other. See if you can even that up. Notice the pelvic tilts here, that anterior tilt as we send the tailbone out behind us and the posterior tilt as we tuck the tailbone. Option to stay here. Option to take those arms in a cactus, come out to the side, and those shoulder blades kissing behind us. And on the exhale, let's curl it in, pinky fingers and elbows in, maybe curling down. Inhaling, spreading those fingers really nice and wide. On that exhale, curl them into fists if you like. And then we're getting into the hands and fingers. Inhaling and exhaling. Make this your own. So if it feels really good to curl down forearms in between or towards the thighs, please do. If you want to stay upright, then do that too. If you simply want the hands to come up and down the legs, that is all good as well. Let's take another three wherever we are. Noticing how this feels in your body, always adapting and accommodating to work with your body. Mm -hmm. And then we're coming all the way back through center. Big breath in, exhaling it out. Coming into a gentle twist, twisting to the left to start with. I'm, as usual, mirroring you. We're rooting to rise. Anchor the breath, and if you need to stay here for a few breaths, to settle the breath, please do. The inhale is the length. The exhale, let's twist to the left shoulders, left shoulder back, right shoulder forward, left hand back, right hand forward, and we come back through center on the inhale. Exhaling is the twist. Now anchor that right foot into the earth to keep the right hip from sneaking forward as we twist. And then we really isolate the movement through the spine. You can glance over the back left shoulder if that feels good in your neck. Let's take another two here, unless you're resting already. Notice where you feel this in your body. Where feels tight? Where does it feel like there is um, something you can soften? Coming back through center and we'll take it to the other side. Take a breath in, we lengthen. Exhale, same thing, looking to the right. 
This time we anchor the left foot, pinning that left hip back so we're not straining or forcing. Noticing what this feels like. And let's take another two breaths here. Maybe glancing over that right shoulder if you haven't already. If that feels comfy, don't do it if it doesn't. And then we're coming all the way back through center. Big breath in. Exhale it out. And then we're taking those feet a little wider. Sitting back in the chair, if you need more support, move forward in your chair if you want less support. Hands supporting you on the top of your legs. And then from here, those lower ribs are rotating like a hula hoop. Inhaling, coming forward, round and exhaling, scooping out the belly, coming back. Smooth, easy movement. Now blend this with the length of breath for one circle to one cycle of breath. So we're inhaling forward, exhaling back. If it feels good to you, please get your shoulders, your head, your neck involved. Any movement that feels really good to you. And what we're looking for here is controlled flow of movement. Let's take another few breaths. And we'll pause at the end of that exhale and then take it around in the opposite direction. And this will take a few rounds of breath and circles to find that ease or any amount of ease. You may be thinking, uh, there's no ease here at all, and that's why we're doing it. Smooth it out, blend it with your breath as best as you can. Shoulders, head and neck can get involved. This can be as big or as small a movement as feels really good to you. Mm -hmm. Let's take another couple here. Keep your breath anchored in your awareness. And then, Next time we come to an exhale, we'll come all the way back through center and then bring those feet in to be more parallel. We're gonna use that block here. Take it in between the feet. So that book, that block, anything feels good to you. Option to stay here. Option to take that left foot out towards, uh, right foot out towards the side, a little flex in the ankle, spread through the toes, and here we are, we've got a little external rotation. Now, depending on your block, maybe you bring your foot up on top of that. If that, if you have a bigger stack, you can bring that right foot a little higher, or depending on if it's available to you, that right ankle to come can come all the way on top of that left hip, uh, left thigh. If that's the case, making sure that that left ankle is underneath the left knee, and there's not any odd angles going on, so we make sure you're supported. We're getting into the right hip, wherever it is that you are. Hands to your knees or knee to ankle, nice and gently, never forcing or pushing. Shoulders over the hips, this is the inhale. If this feels enough in the hip, you're not moving. If you want to add on, exhale, or rocking forward, hinging from the hips, like a door hinge rather than rounding. So we're not curling through the back. Inhaling, always shoulders over hips, exhaling forward. If that foot is up, then we're keeping a flex in that left, or that right ankle, sorry, and spreading through the toes. Always working with the breath option to keep in this movement if that is that rocking motion option to come forward and stay for three breaths keep the breath flowing easy staying for that last exhale whenever that is for you and on an inhale shoulders over hips if they're not already there and then we release same thing other side so rooting to rise, block in between the feet, and then that left knee can come out to the side. You can do everything from here. 
Maybe that left outer blade of the foot comes up a little higher. Maybe it's there and it can come up over your right thigh. Do not expect one side of your body to be the same, so it might not be the same as it was last, um, on the other side. Flex the ankle, spread the toes wherever you are, that shortens um, and the, that protects the knee. So um, it kind of, um, as we flex that, lengthens and stabilizes the joint. This is the inhale. Stay here if this is enough sensation, working on that steady breath. Or on the exhale, hinging from the hips, we're coming forward any amount, inhaling shoulders over hips. For most of us, it's not going to be a very big rocking motion. Keep that steadiness of breath. Breathing in and out smoothly. And the next option is if you want to come forward with the shoulders, then we're there for three breaths. You can stay in stillness or shoulders over hips or in this forward position. Keep that breath flowing. If it's getting very intense in that left hip, back off. If it feels like you've got a little bit more space there, you're welcome to shift and change a little bit more forward. Let's stay for the last exhale. If the shoulders are forward, we inhale, shoulders over hips, and wherever it is, we release. And then just wash those knees a little side to side, easing any outer hip tension. Coming back to our mindful seat, rooting to rise, shoulders down, collarbones broad, let's take a big breath in. Exhale, release any attachment to anything we've done so far as we feel a little tension softening from our bodies, relaxing as best as you're able. Feel free to soften the gaze, close the eyes, and notice how you're doing. Do that little check-in with yourself if you wish. And when you feel ready, I'll meet you down on the earth. Whatever your earth is, bring that block and strap along with you, as well as anything you need for a final relaxation. And I'll see you down there. Hello, here we are. Have my block with me and strap. So I'm gonna keep that handy and then come all the way down to your back if you're not there already. Knees to the sky, feet to the floor. If you want to, pick up the hips, send the sitting bones a little closer towards your heels. Even everything up. If you need extra support under your neck and head, take a couple of folded blankets or towels to the height that that feels really supportive for you. Roll one shoulder blade and another just gently underneath you. Get that openness through the chest. And when you're ready, softening the gaze or closing the eyes, take a big breath in. And exhale it out through the mouth as you let the bones sink into the earth. And you can take one or two more breaths like that. As you start to feel gravity pulling you down and let that happen. And then from there, bringing your steady, mindful breath back into your practice. So a little deeper, a little longer, and then smoothing that breath out. Once you feel anchored, then we're going to take that block, which hopefully is handy, or that book that you've wrapped, and put it next to your left hip. Just snuggled in like me, just kind of um, on the flat side in towards the hip. And then from there, you're going to keep your strap handy. I'm going to put this just over my chest. Then I'm going to draw that left knee in, give it a little hug, and then rotate through the ankle. Like to get through all the joints, so spread the toes and point the toes at different times, nice and steady and slow. And then I'll take that round in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. 
We'll flex in that ankle, just gently and spread through the toes. And we'll take the arms down either next to you or in a cactus or a T. And then on an inhale, we're gonna straighten the leg up towards the ceiling a little. It doesn't have to be straight, but towards straight. And then curl it back in towards your seat, inhaling and exhaling, just waking up the back of that right leg. Now, if that feels like a lot to straighten it up towards the ceiling, even keeping a nice bend in that knee, then I highly recommend in the next movement, set of movements that we do, then you keep that knee bent and you're coming from your hand on your knee. As we're moving in through the hips, so we've done a lot in the shoulders, we're gonna get into the hips. Otherwise, so that is option number one. Otherwise, we're gonna take that strap along the ball of the foot, mid strap here, the ball of the foot, so not the arch where um, we want to put it, but the widest part of the foot, the box of the foot, the toes. Take the straps in either hand, and then lengthen the arms. So take them all the way up, and then draw the shoulders down towards the earth. Now you can have that left knee, a nice little bend in it, or pushing up towards the ceiling, flex the ankle and spread the toes. This already might be a lot. You're in charge here. So if it feels better for you to take that foot a little further away from you, let the arms, long arms, so not bent here, so there's no strain in them, let the arms take the weight of the leg. So as the arms get nice and heavy, you're gonna get length down the back of this left leg. Great place to stay. If you want to add that weight, take the hands a notch above and then bring the shoulders down. And we do this not to force, so if there's any forcing or straining, then come back, release a little bit. We want to stay at a place where we can keep that easy breath. Option here, if it feels okay in the groin, is to lengthen the left or the right leg nice and long. If that feels too much, then keep that right leg bent, put to the floor. We're pushing down through the back body through the right foot or right heel, all the way through that right leg if it's lengthened, all the way through to the crown of the head, back body is rooting down. And all we're doing here is hanging out in space, option to stay here. Now I'm gonna knead that block into that left hip. I'm gonna take both straps into the left arm here right arm in a cactus or a T or down by that right hip, anchoring that right shoulder. It's important that that right shoulder stays connected to the earth. And then from here, you're gonna take that left leg out towards the side. That block is to the outside of the hip, and the left elbow comes to the earth, even if that means you lengthen the strap away from you. That way we've got some stabilization through the upper body so that right arm is connected down, left arm is too, and we're getting this opening up through the hip. Now maybe that hip comes, or the foot comes a little further away from you. Maybe as you stay here and breathe, it's coming a little closer up towards the top of your mat, and we're breathing in to the inside of that left hip. Option, if that right knee is bent, you can wing that right knee out to the side if it feels okay in your groin. Keep the pelvis rooted here, and let's take a few more breaths here, wherever you are. Always, if it doesn't feel right to you, we're coming out, bringing the foot up. And again, you can do all of this from a bent knee. If there's a whole lot of shaking and shuddering going on, I highly recommend coming out earlier. Otherwise, on an inhale, we're gonna take that foot up towards the ceiling. 
cross over here. So left arm is now in a cactus or a T or down by your hip. Right hand is taking both sides of the straps. And that right arm is long. So we're not bending the elbows, bringing a lot of strain in through the upper arm shoulder. Option here to stay, option to take the left leg, whether that knee is bent or not, over towards the left just a few inches. We're not lifting up through the left hip, we're keeping the back of the pelvis rooted, and now we're getting in through the outside IT band here, probably feeling it in the back of the leg. To ease things off, you can take that foot a little further away from you to make it more intense. It's coming up a little closer towards your nose. Option to stay here. Option to start to send the foot over towards the right any amount. Now you get to choose. For some of you, you might want to take the leg all the way over. I've got a wall here. All the way over, rolling to the outside of your right leg. If you have the knee, you might want to take it over into that over knee twist. Or for some of you, it's going to feel really good to just edge it over millimeter by millimeter. And you're going to find different sweet spots here. Option to take that left thumb into the hip crease and push that left hip down and away as you bring the foot over. And this anchors the hip down into the joint. We're breathing, the breath is steady and smooth. If you're somewhere where you're like, I can't breathe, you're doing way too much, either bending through the knee, releasing so the hand is on the knee and you're not using the strap. Let's take another few breaths here. And then when you're ready, whether you're all the way over onto the side, we're gonna bring that left leg up, release the strap if you have it, and draw that left knee in. Right leg can be bent still or extended. And then we'll take that left foot down to the floor. Right knee bends, right foot to the floor, we're taking that block to the right side. Same thing, other side, so make sure that strap is handy. This side may be very different, so please be gentle with yourself. Right knee draws in and curl it in. Circle through that right ankle, really nice and slow, spreading the toes, pointing the toes. And I've got some snap, crackle, pops in here today. And let's take that slowly round, very slowly, slower than you think in the other direction. And then the next time those toes spread, we'll stay there. Option to do everything from that left or the right knee. Right hand on the right knee, we're taking it out and over. Great place to stay. Otherwise, on an, we're going to take those arms down. On an inhale, let's extend the right leg and draw it down. And again, that leg might only extend a little bit, and that may feel enough. Most of us have incredible tightness behind the legs. We spend most of our time sitting so it gets really tight. Option to continue here. Option to take the hand on that right knee or the strap around the widest part of the right foot. Spread the toes, a little flex in that ankle. And again, that knee does not have to be straight. Arms are long here, so walking those fingertips up towards the feet and then draw the shoulders down into the earth. And this may be enough right here. The option, as on the other side, is that um, left leg can lengthen. This will increase the sensation through the back of the leg. So if that feels already quite a lot, then keep that left knee bent. And we breathe steady and smooth. We're never forcing. We're staying at a place where the breath is smooth and easy. From here, with that block drawn into the right hip, we're taking this um, right leg over with the strap in the right arm, 
left arm in a cactus or T, so that shoulder is anchored all the way over to the right side. Now I have a wall here. Um, keep that block to the outside of the hip, and I'm gonna take it into a bent knee here, just opening up through the groin. If that feels a lot, keep that left knee bent. You can, of course, wing the left knee out to the side if that feels better for you, and we breathe. Pushing down through the whole back body, wherever it's connected down to the earth. Let's take a few breaths there. You can always come out early. And then when you're ready, we'll draw that knee foot up towards the ceiling. And now we're taking the strap into the left hand. Right shoulder is anchored. Very important here. From here, whether that knee is nicely bent or towards straight, we shift the right leg over towards the left just a couple of inches and what this will do is get into the outside edge of the leg. Right thumb and the right hip socket and then pushing down through the right femur bone so the leg is pushing away from you and that's going to add sensation. If you don't need added sensation then take that out. The option is here to keep this going millimeter by millimeter and find a sweet spot for you. The option is same as the other side to roll to the outside left um, hip as we bring the right foot all the way over. Left elbow to the earth so it's not suspended in the air. Right shoulder anchored. And again, that thumb in the hip bone, um, the hip socket pushing away, that's gonna increase sensation. So many options here. Take a few breaths here. You can always come out early, of course. And then when you're ready, on an inhale, we'll draw everything up through center, release the strap. Draw that knee in, I'm gonna bend that left leg, right leg comes to join it. Any centering, go ahead here. And then from here, I'm gonna draw both knees in, give them a little hug, rock and roll from side to side. Easing those hips a little, we're gonna take both knees in our hands. Draw the knees in towards each other and in towards the chest. And then take both knees away, down, together, and in. So we're drawing circles here. Just easing any tightness we brought into the hips. And then we'll take those around in the opposite direction. And if you want to do egg beta, which is kind of like one different from the other, and if that's really confusing to you, then keep in the circles. Next time we bring those knees in towards the chest, we'll take them wide towards the armpits. Elbows may be resting on the earth here. Option to stay here. Option to come into happy baby. Feet come up towards the ceiling. Hands coming to the outer legs or feet in any way. We're drawing the knees down. Once again, opening up through the groin and getting in through the hips. Breathing steady and smooth. And then when you're ready, we'll draw the heels down if they weren't already, knees coming towards each other, feet come down to the earth. Spread the feet wide on your mat, about mat distance, arms and a cactus or a T. We'll just wash those knees side to side a little or a lot. Again, releasing any tension that may have built up through the hips. Mm -hmm. And then we'll come all the way back through center. You can draw the knees in towards each other, keep those ankles wide, constructive rest, or coming into your version of relaxation, whatever that may be. And as you get nice and settled, making sure that you take any 
extra added comfort and support that you can here. Nothing is too much effort. So if you need to turn the lights out or get an extra layer, please do. It's so important to honor what is comfort for us. And that may change every time we come to it because our bodies are different. So settling yourself in, notice if you need an extra blanket or a pillow or cover. If you haven't already, on one of your next exhale, soften your gaze and close your eyes. Take a big, beautiful breath in from your toes all the way up to the crown of your head. Hold for a beat and then exhale, send the breath down and away. And let's do that a few more times. Imagine you can breathe from your toes all the way up to the crown of your head and then exhale, release tension and tightness. And keep that wave of breath, exhaling, releasing your practice, any attachments, any stories you had to one thing or another. And on one of your next exhales, just completely release the breath altogether. And we start to allow the body to deepen and rest. We start to let go bit by bit of all the tightness, all the tension, all the tender parts. We let go of the stories, the judgments. We let go of our attachment to the thoughts as breath by breath, moment by moment, we allow ourselves to deepen into this quiet calm. Imagine your body is trillions of cells. And maybe starting at the crown of your head or your toes, Allow those cells as you scan through your body to gently soften and relax. You may not have noticed that there are so many little clusters of tension in different places. Imagine, sense, or feel that deep relaxation washing through. Your mind gets caught up in a story or a to-do list, bring it back. Release the thoughts and come back to this moment. Breath by breath, moment by moment, releasing and letting go. Stay here, releasing and letting go as every moment passes for as long as feels good to you. Or if you would like to finish your practice, start to 
Bring your awareness into your whole body from your toes and fingertips to the crown of your head, tip of your nose, shoulder blades. Start to notice sensations in your body. Notice the earth that is supporting you underneath. Start to pay attention to the breath coming in and out, your own rhythm. Starting to take in a little deeper inhale, just a little. Exhale like a soft sigh. A few more breaths just like that. And you can stay here for as long as you like, just being more aware of your breath. If you wish to stay here for the rest of your practice, please do. If you wish to find your way to a different shape and start to find gentle, lazy movements, fingers and toes, or maybe gliding your head from side to side. Some of you might want to stretch wide or curl into a little ball, give yourself a very well-deserved hug. Whether you're staying in stillness or coming to another shape, we'll meet wherever that is over the next few breaths, taking your time, observing, noticing how your body's feeling, how you're doing. And we'll settle into that support underneath us when you're ready. Rooting to rise through the heart space, whichever shape you're in. There's a hand gesture you wish to take, please go ahead. We'll take a big breath in together. Exhale, dipping the chin just and a little bit towards the heart in honor of yourself. I thank each of you for being here today from my heart to yours. Namaste, thank you for joining me.